Hello everyone, welcome to part 13 of Next.js tutorial with Laravel for beginners. And in this video, uh, we are going to we will continue working on our simple React app, and we can say this simple e-commerce app. Uh, okay, so uh, now uh, we are going to work on the login API with Laravel 9, and uh, so that we can build uh, the login form in the React app uh, to login uh, uh, the users from the React app to. Uh, to our e-commerce website or we can say see one and the same thing see both will work parallelly e-commerce website as well as the e-commerce app okay both will have the same products and both will have the same users so everything uh, is same just the platform uh, is changed okay so a user can uh, um, come either on the website to place the order or on the app so this is uh, like the Amazon do. You can open the Amazon app as well, or you can open the Amazon website as well. If you register on the Amazon app, you can log in to the Amazon website. If you register on the Amazon website, you can log into the Amazon app. So vice versa. Okay. So the same thing we are building here. Okay. So now uh, let's start working on the login API with Laravel 9, and we are going to test in Postman as well. Uh, so first of all we are going to create its route in api.php and here uh, like uh, we have built the route earlier for the register user for react app now we are going to build login user user for react app okay login user for react app see this all we are doing for our ecom 9 website okay i'm going to show you that our ecom 9 uh, website that is currently in process this is the multi vendor e-commerce website okay so the same we are trying to ship to the app as well side by side rect app okay so please follow this ecom 9 series uh, okay so only then you able to build the rect app so uh, you are going to work on the back end and laravel 9 we are using the laravel 9 as back end and we are using the rect js as front end okay so to build the app so now uh, see here uh, we are making the login user for rect app and here we are going to build the post method for login user we will make it route like login hyphen user and then api controller is our controller and in api controller we are going to create the function login user like this and here we are going to make it like we have done for the registered user here we are going to make for the login user okay so here we are going to make function for the login user public function login user okay and here also we will return we will get the response here dollar request dollar request here and okay so here we will get the response here in post method request is method post here we will get all response like we have got here as well dollar data so first of all we are going to check the response as well request we can use the input here or we can use the all here whatever your wish okay like we have done in the register user as well okay so we are going to print first of all that the it is coming here so we are going to debug it we are going to test it whether the data is coming or data is coming that we are going to uh, we are going to test from uh, the postman okay so here i'm going to open the postman here like this one the register user i'm going to make it like register api see it is already there but uh, let's uh, we are we are build, building again register user api is the earlier api i'm going to save it and uh okay so it is asking it uh, it is already there register user api so uh, we can do it like this no issue so i'm going to uh, make it duplicate api one more and here uh, okay so it is working so now uh, i'm going to make this time the login user api login user api okay 
and here I'm going to make it login hyphen user for see this one we are doing for testing the API at postman so that we can able to test it so here we will just send the email and password nothing else required so we are going to remove everything else only email and password is required okay so we are going to remove the mobile and name so only email and password and uh, here all headers are always in json for format okay you are uh, not required to add anything okay so here we are going to add it like content type okay application json though it is not required you can add it as well if you wish uh, to add okay so uh, we are going to click on send here you can see the response is coming here okay because we are just printing the response and that is we are printing uh, from here okay so it is coming fine so we can move further uh, okay so now i am just uh, commenting this one so uh, we are going to fetch the user details first of all i am going to uh, make the comments as well fetch user details okay so here i'm going to do it like this uh, user details from the user model we have the email now we are going to compare with the email email is our primary key so we are going to check with the email and email is coming in dollar data email okay and we are going to check it like this first okay we will make sure that the email is coming here okay we are sending the correct email for now see validations we are not uh, doing right now we assume that the user is just entering the correct email and password in this video we just assume that the user is just entering the correct email and password to login into the app okay so but in the next video we are going to add all kinds of validations like we are going to test like that uh, user email is correct we are going to test the user user password is correct we are going to test whether the email and password both have been added by the user so everything we are going to test in the next video uh, like client side as well as the server side we are going to add all kind of validations but in this video we will simply try to log in with the correct email and password otherwise it will make the things too complex in the one video okay so now uh, here the assume that the correct details come in the user details uh, okay so now uh, we are going to verify the password verify the password that's, that must be correct only verify the password if uh, see if uh, we are going to here is the function laravel function that we are going to use here password verify password underscore verify okay we are going to use this one and here we will get the password uh, in dollar user details okay we will get the sorry in dollar data the password that is first entered by the user that comes in dollar data password and we are going to compare this password with the password that is in the database so that is uh, we have used here okay so we are going to check this password with the password that is there in the database okay so we are getting it like this password okay so we are uh, see comparing the password that is entered by the user with the password that is uh, located in the database see this one we are comparing with this one okay and with the password verify function and if it is correct then we will go inside otherwise we are going to return the error message to our red app okay so error handling we will do in the next video but here we are simply login uh, i'm going to login and we'll assume that it is working fine our password is correct and we are going to return the json with the correct uh, that we can return uh, sorry we are going to return here like this we can do it like this and we are going to return the uh, status as true okay it is always good to send the status as well okay and uh, message also we are going to send the message uh, like uh, 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 user login successfully 
this message we can also show there if we want okay user uh, successfully like this and there is the response code uh, for the message as well we can uh, add the response code as 201 every time we post something okay we use uh, the response code 201 here also we have used the 201 so 201 response code we can use it here as well okay so in else condition uh, else means that uh, uh, the password is incorrect so here we are going to send the error message like password is incorrect also make it like okay so here now uh, we will send the response as uh, the false response we are going to send okay uh, so here what we can do here uh, return the response json response json in json we are going to send the status as false and message this message we are going to send okay with the uh, error message that we used to send 422 error message always send whenever the error comes okay so now our uh, is uh, api is ready login api is ready now we can test there in postman login api see here uh we are going to try like first of all we are going to try with the correct information uh but here mm, some unexpected token uh api control on line 61 uh line 61 uh we are going to check why okay semicolon we miss it okay so now we are going to try once again uh, now you can see the user login successfully so with the correct email and password it is showing the status as true and message as low user login successfully okay if we are providing the correct email and password then it enables to login the user but if we are going to uh, pass the incorrect email like this one uh, correct uh, see, sorry incorrect password okay then if we will try to send then it is saying the false status with the error message password is incorrect okay that we are going to handle in rec.js app okay but we have the api ready here uh, and if in case the email id is incorrect that also we need to handle here see the error message is coming so for this one uh, we can do one thing here we are going to test the email id first of all okay so for that what we can do here uh, we can verify user email though we will add the validator class we will do it like this also uh, but let's uh, do this one as well like we are going to use here count user count here okay if user count is greater than zero then it will come inside this one otherwise we will show the error message once again user count is greater than zero then we are going to add everything here inside this okay we are going to cut this one and we'll paste inside this one like this uh, make it uh, indenting and here in else see i'm going to show the error message once again here i'm going to copy this one and we'll paste it here uh, with the error message that email is incorrect okay so we are going to try here see with this one if the incorrect email and then it is show email is incorrect okay you can see here so uh, some of the validations we have added password must be correct and email must be correct okay but uh, we are going to add the more validations here uh, with the valid validator class in the next video and we are going to make this uh, uh, login app we are going to first make the login app like the login form okay like we have done with the register form we are going to do it like this like the register form and we will create the login page as well then the login form in the login form we uh, add the fields like email and password from where the user can able to login from the rect app okay and uh, after that we will add the validations as well okay so uh, let's wait for the next video 
i hope that you can able to build this api first of all and if you will find any trouble you can surely contact me and do subscribe and join the channel so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye